Hello, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am Disco Kitty, the Crappy Crafter. Today, we're going to be making a mold of this little ducky. He's not really what I wanted to use. His wings are kind of huge, but that may, that may be useful later when I'm making things out of him. Ah, we'll see. We're going to use this Let's Resin silicone, and I'm going to encapsulate it in this little tiny trash can. So, um, yeah, let's just jump right into it. Okay, first let's hot glue the little ducky to the bottom of the trash can. Both the ducky and the inside of the trash can are completely covered in mold release, except for where the glue is going to be because that didn't work. When using the silicone rubber, you definitely want to have gloves because it can get all over you. You don't really need a respirator for this because it doesn't outgas like resin does, but it's not necessarily a bad idea. And what is that? Is that mold or is that just dirt? I'm hoping it's just dirt that settled, but we'll see. Time to measure it up. I am, in the end, just going to use all of the rubber that I have in these two bottles because I just, well, I couldn't be bothered to keep measuring it. I measured it out twice and it was still not enough. So I was like, you know what? We're just gonna completely cover this thing. We're just gonna make it as deep as we can. Use all of the rubber, might as well. You gotta make sure you mix it really good, scraping the sides and the bottom always. When you pour it, pour it from a height to get rid of some of the bubbles. And here we can see the top of his little head. Not nearly enough. So I will go in and just use the rest of the rubber. Now we're going to try to get rid of all of the little bubbles. And tap, tap, tap. It's now the next day. It's actually been more like 32 hours since I poured it. And I'm going to have one heck of a time trying to get it out even with the mold release it's just suctioned in there really good and having glued the ducky down that's helping keep it in there too so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put little popsicle sticks all the way around his spacers and then i will pour some just plain water in because there's already soap all coated all over the inside of it so it doesn't need to be soapy water because it's soapy water now dump out the excess water and then i'm gonna try to pop it out with the popsicle sticks still in it. That's not gonna work so well. So I'm going to have to take the popsicle sticks out and that'll give it enough space to just slide right on out with a little thumping. But it works. Definitely soapy. I'm gonna have to rinse all of this off really, really well. But yeah, it came out relatively well. I. I'm going to trim this skirt of flashing and I probably shouldn't have done that because it's going to mess up the edges. I trim it just too close, but you know what? That's okay. Nothing a little sanding on the figurine can't help later. Look at that. It looks so good. I'm so happy with it so far. Time to mix up the epoxy resin. Now this is a three to one resin from Sophie and Toffee. It has a much longer cure time. This one they claim is 24 hours and it was probably about that. And the reason why I use this is because it was supposed to be a very good degassing resin. Being a three to one, they are usually better at degassing because they have a longer time to cure. They have a longer window to get rid of bubbles, but we'll see how that works out. And in the end, I decide to use just the whole bottles of both of these because there was just such a tiny little bit left. I mix it all up and then use the leftovers and some spare molds. Remember, mix thoroughly for at least three minutes, scraping the sides and the bottom all the time. Now we're going to gently pour it in. I'm going to try to pour it into the beak first and then the rest of the mold. And then I will use the popsicle stick later to try to pick some of the bubbles out and I will tap it and try to get all the little tiny bubbles out and don't forget to use flame on the top to get rid of any surface bubbles. But we'll see 
how that doesn't really work so well in the end. Ah, see, I am using that popsicle stick to jam it right into the very tip of the beak to get the bubbles out. And here it is with all of those bubbles. I am so disappointed with this, but it is what it is. Overall, it works. Overall, it's a super cute ducky and I'm very much in love with it. Once I get it out of the mold, of course. It, it was a, a bit of a struggle. I'll figure it out. I've got lots of time with this mold. Look at how cute he is. Such a clear bottom. And a matte finish. I wasn't really thinking about that, but I think it came out pretty cute. Well, there's not much to say about this one. The mold works. It's huge. It's heavy. It's a whole, like, pound of rubber in it probably could have like you know just come up to here but I just wanted to make sure it's a big mold however I didn't think about the matte finish on the ducky and that's okay I kind of like that I like that if I want him to be shiny I'll put a glossy top coat over him but um oh, these bubbles look at those bubbles they're horrible This is supposed to be a three to one, no bubble resin. I left it in a warm room. I stirred it really good. Obviously it's not sticky or anything like that anywhere, but so many bubbles, as you may have seen in my short that I, I put up, you know, a couple days ago, but it works. I made a ducky. He's my very own ducky. Now I can make whatever resin ducky I want. Or plaster. I might make a plaster ducky. I probably should have started with a plaster ducky. I'm going to have to put them in a pressure pot next time. That's all. Thanks so much for visiting. And we'll see you next week. Stay safe. Hey, baby. How you doing? Oh, such a big boy. Oh. Um. little extra content for you this week. Here are some outtakes from my very, very first attempt, which failed spectacularly. Ducky was not glued down first. I poured all the silicone parts into the cup and then did not mix them for at least five minutes. And this silicone only has like an eight minute pot life anyways. So yeah, still not hot for the glue gun. Gotta wait more. This stuff is just becoming a solid mess. It was never cured, stirred properly. It was never cured. Now I'm finally gluing it down. And I, I also forgot to clean off the ducky's bottom and a spot on the bottom. So the glue isn't going to stick anyways. Oh, it was just such a mess. It was horrible. I wasn't even going to do it. But here, check this goopy mess out. Squish.